Xbox fight for game preservation is getting hit with backlash and starting today there is a huge sale on the Xbox store. So as we know, with these next generation consoles, the Xbox Series X and S by far is the best console for backwards compatibility. Not only do you get access to a library of games from the OG Xbox, the Xbox 360, and the Xbox One, there are enhancements like FPS boost and auto HDR that make some of these older games look brand new. Plus, on top of that, if you're somebody who likes to tinker with your console, you can unlock the developer mode on your Xbox and install emulators like RetroArch and Duck Station in order to literally play games from all of the retro consoles. Now, it seems like Xbox has kind of weighed in on game preservation on Twitter as they replied to this tweet from Astro Gaming saying, losing games to console generations, this meme here. And they said, the fight for game preservation never stops. And with Xbox, they have been continuously adding games with FPS boost. I think there's been a little bit of a lag now between their last release, but I'm sure we'll be getting more coming soon and overall the amount of games that have been added to backwards compatibility have kind of been stagnant as well but at the end of the day there's definitely a lot of work that has to go in to get some of these games to work on the xbox series x and s and probably tons of licensing stuff that they have to go through now because they tweeted this in response to astro gaming suite they've actually been hit with a lot of backlash surprisingly even though and if all of the consoles out there right now, they're doing the best with backwards compatibility. Now, I don't know. I mean, overall, there are some tweets here calling out DRM, calling out the fact that there haven't been more games recently coming over for backwards compatibility, but I can't really see this as such a massive problem right now when you're comparing it to the other options out there. I honestly think the Series X and S have done a great job with backwards compatibility so far, and hopefully throughout this generation, they continue to add games to the program and they continue to add more games for FPS boost specifically because that will just really increase the longevity of this console overall and just how great it's going to be by the time the console generation is said and done. Now, when it comes to the DRM issue, we've already kind of talked about this and people have went over this as Xbox actually did respond. A developer responded to this entire issue on Reset Era. And the main thing they were talking about here was the messaging about the DRM. And this is what the developer have, had to say. Having watched the video and read through the discussion here, my main takeaway is that we Xbox need to improve our on-console error messaging. The very generic and unclear error messaging clearly adds confusion and can lead to mistrust of the system there's actually an effort internally to revamp licensing related error messaging and i will ensure that this feedback is heard internally to continue driving that effort smart delivery discs vary in content for a variety of reasons discs like forza horizon 4 were pressed years before series xs existed repressing discs is expensive and doesn't actually help anyone since it would require the user to repurchase anyway just like fifa 21 were pressed with a stub of the xbox series xs version as that version simply was not ready at the time the discs were pressed and discs may not be able to contain both versions of the game for space reasons which versions are pressed is up to the developer but i would expect that it will generally line up with whichever was the primary version developed for now cross-gen titles are primarily targeting xbox one but that will change over time so hearing that there's definitely just a lot of complicated things that go into the backwards compatibility now i'm not for drm or anything like that i do believe if you have the physical disc of a game and you are not connected to the internet you should be able to play that game but we are definitely in a day and age where physical means really nothing you go buy a new game right now and you're not online to be able to download that game and get the license from the store you're going to pop in that disc and you're not going to be able to play because of just how big a lot of these games are that's a big factor as well they can't even fully fit on the disc with updates and all that kind of stuff so at the end of the day having to actually download your backwards compatible games after putting in a disc is a small sacrifice that has to be made i guess right now but when you look at it compared to the competition at their Xbox is doing the best job with game preservation and with backwards compatibility. It's one of the best features on the Xbox Series X and S and one of the features that I use all the time. And I'm sure a lot of people use all the time. Now there's a huge sale going on right now on the Xbox store from September 7th to September 21st and there are over 175 games are on sale ranging from a game like a way out which is an awesome co-op game if you haven't played it i'd highly recommend checking out if you have somebody to play it with and then 
bunch of the Assassin's Creed games, like the Assassin's Creed Triple Pack is only 22 bucks right now. Then we have a bunch of other things like Bioshock and Borderlands. The Dead by Daylight series is on sale too, Dead Island. We also have Dirt 5. I know that is on Xbox Game Pass, but if you loved the Dirt 5 game and you wanted to support it by purchasing it, now would be a good time as it is on sale. Dragon Ball Z Fighters is only $11.99. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is only $10.49. So there's a bunch of stuff on sale. Just make sure to go check it out if you're interested. I have been actually purchasing random games all the time recently with these sales for like five bucks or, or ten bucks. And it's great to build up that digital library, especially in a time where these prices and finding these games physically out there, especially for the backwards compatibility games is getting harder and harder. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the backwards compatibility backlash. Do you think it's warranted or do you still think that Xbox is doing the best job with game preservation? And what do you think about the sale? Are you gonna be picking up any of those games between today and September 21st? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new here and you like what you see throughout this video. I really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow and help grow this community so we can have great conversations in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll catch you in the next video.